When in Manila. When in Manila? When in Manila. When in Manila. When in Manila. When Manila, I will see you there. Welcome to WinInManila.com, the podcast, our very first episode. Very excited to be here. Hey, what's up? My name is Vince Galanco. We'll be guiding you guys every week to talk about the biggest, coolest events in and around Manila. Of course, we're part of the website WinInManila.com, partnering with Wusa Studios every week, every Wednesday, 8.30 p.m. onwards. Again, my name is Vince Galanco. You can tweet me at Vince Galanco or find at when in Manila on Twitter. Of course, to tune into the show, hopefully you're already tuned in, it'll be wustastudios.com. Every week, we'll give you a lineup of all the events, upcoming events that you need to be at, but also anything that people are talking about in and around Manila. In fact, Happy New Year, Happy 2014. The past year was great for us. Um, when Thanks to you guys, WhenInManila.com reached over 1 million readers every month. Now, but when we started, funny thing was when When in Manila started, we had two readers the first day. I still remember that, and I was, but I was pretty excited. But my excitement sort of died down when I found out the readers were just me and my mom. So it was kind of like, eh. But either way, you start out slow. Hopefully, we'll build this show, and every week we will be the show for you to tune into when you need to find out what's going on. And speaking of the new year, one hot thing people are talking about that our, ma- uh, our magic editor has been talking about, our writers have been trying, are the juice cleanses. Every new year, every new year, this is a thing people do every new year. They pack the gyms and they start going on diets. They regret all the food they ate over the new year. It kind of annoys me, the gym people, because the gym gets extra packed every new year. We call them the resolution gymmers because they're just there because they made a new resolution and they'll be gone by March if they make it to March. Some of them like last barely January. So uh, hopefully if you are going to a gym, Gold's Gym, by the way, is the recommended gym that we like. But the cleanses, those are the big things. Make sure if you cleanse, you know what you're doing and you pick a good juice cleansing diet. Know that these cleanses are not supposed to like change majorly your lifestyle. They're supposed to just ignite healthy eating in you. Um, one cl- a cl- we've tried a few cleanses. We've tried the Juju cleanse. Uh, we've also tried the Detoxify Bar. So those are a couple of cleanses we recommend. Check it out on uh, WhenInManila.com. Pretty much, instead of eating a meal, you will drink these juices they will send you every day. And they are super fresh. Like, you have to drink it that day. Otherwise, they're going to spoil. So, um, uh, they, re- they replace a meal you're supposed to take. And after, after three days, or depends on what cleanse you do, You know, your body, your colon, and everything is supposed to be cleaned out, ready to start anew. But the thing is, after that, you can't just start eating, you know, all the greasy stuff again. So you got to still change the lifestyle. So I guess that's a little bit of what it is with the juju cleanse and whatnot. So anyway, we recommend that um, uh, for the new year. If you're going to gym it up, stick to the gym. Don't just go from January till end of January or March. Make sure you stay the whole time. And if you're going to try the cleanses, uh, do check out WhenInManila.com. The full stories are there. Again, uh, Detoxify Bar is one of the places with a Juice Jab as well. And uh, Juju Cleanse are a few, just a few of the many cleanses we've reviewed on the website. But anyway, one more thing. That's if you check out our Facebook page, Facebook.com slash WhenInManila. Another thing that people are talking about is are animals. And um, uh, I have a video for you. We'll show that in a bit. But first, there was this other story where... Uh, people are commending and praising the guards at Landmark because uh, supposedly they're taking care of cats over there. Uh, the guards are taking care of a few kittens uh, at Landmark and uh, people caught it on camera. So there's some stories there and people are like super happy with these security guards. Uh, and I think it's a really nice thing to do. We, we need to give credit where credit is due. I mean, I'm sure these guards are, you know, they're barely making ends meet with themselves, but somehow they found a way to take care of cats as well. So that's trending on our Facebook page. But another thing is a video that people are uh, liking right now. It's of supposedly there was this family out on a yacht in Manila Bay. And randomly they saw it was pitch black. The night is pitch black. Uh, if you've ever been out to the ocean, you'll know how dark it gets out there without, without lights. So it's pretty much pitch black. Then they saw something moving in the water. It took them a while until they realized it was a dog. At least that's the story. So here's the video. Check it out. So there it is. Uh, pitch black crazy. 
That's Manila Bay, so I, I'm not sure if that's Moa in the background or... Well, you can hear the family and the, and the people on the yacht wondering what's going on, and they're pointing at something. It takes a while in the video, but eventually you're going to see like, wow, what the hell? They're, they're out in the middle of the ocean. They're not even close to shore. I don't know if it's, it's this thing just wanted to t go take a night swim, or ho I'm hoping it was just an accident where it fell off the ledge of... But I, don't, I still don't know how it swam out that far out. Um, uh, I'm hoping it wasn't like anything malicious where someone threw it out to die or anything like that. But there you go. And the poor thing, the poor dog is like, you know, could barely move after they rescued it. So, but of course, again, uh, people were, were commending uh, the family that rescued them. If you want to commend them as well, their names are on When in Manila's Facebook page. Um, and I really think, it's, I, I don't know, it's a Spider-Man thing. You know, with great power comes great responsibility. And it's just that for animals, they have absolutely no power. So as, as humans with opposable thumbs, we really need, you know, I think we should be nice to them. So again, uh, check out that video. It'll be on facebook.com slash when in Manila. So every week we'll talk about the things that are trending online, the things people are talking about online. Those are just a few of them. Um, but other than that, we'll also tell you what is going on in Manila and the Philippines. Uh, we have a few big events. This first one, I don't have a poster for it, but uh, I just want you guys to know on January 17 to 19, Travel Life is having their Rockwell's Travel Fair. Um, it's happening at Rockwell Tent, again, January 17 to 19. I believe it starts from 11 a.m. onwards. Um, every time they have the travel fairs here, you guys need to check it out because I, I, I didn't want to bother because I passed by a travel fair once and there was a huge line for for tickets for i mean there, there are diff a lot of different booths a lot of different travel agents or uh airlines there and huge lines and i didn't want to bother because i'm not the type who likes getting in lines um but eventually i did once i actually got in line once and i got a round trip plane ticket to la for six hundred dollars over six hundred dollars uh under 700. so round trip plane ticket one way no stopovers to la from manila six hundred dollars i know everyone hated me after that I, like, I was telling my friends and my aunts and my parents like yeah how much was your ticket oh six hundred one way no round trip they're like what the hell so they they all got mad at me for not buying them tickets and i'm like dude if you knew how long the line was you you know so anyway so check it out travel life is having that travel fair at rock well tent other than that some big events um um uh our When in Manila writers are very excited for this. Uh, Capital Cities, they're coming live at Ayala Malls, if you're familiar with them. Uh, Capital Cities is happening. They have a, a, quite a mall tour, and we'll show you the, um, the poster in a bit. But yeah, it's happening at Glorieta, January 11 at 7 p.m. Uh, January 11, 4 p.m., they'll be at the, um, at the Bang Town Center. And then they'll also be at Trinoma on January 12th at 7 p.m. And Marquee Mall, January 12th at 3 p.m. So uh, they're having quite a mall tour, so get your tickets now. Other than that, also, um, uh, there's this, I hope I pronounced this right, Rock of Ages. Ages. I, I guess they're going off the Rock, rock, of, the, rock of Ages. Um, but anyway, it's a musical, January 31 to March 9th. It's a musical featuring the Songs of Ages. Uh, um, do check that one out again january 31 to march 9 but the one i'm especially excited about um i'm a big rock uh i'm a big i mean a uh, rock fan i love rock music i love um i, I love metal music but uh, i'm a big rocker i love that type of music and when i heard that this amazing band one of the top bands in the world was coming to the philippines Oh my God, I freaked out. And I, I actually thought it was a scam at first. I thought it was a, just an online hoax again. But the Red Hot Chili, Chili Peppers, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Red Hot Chili Peppers are coming to the Philippines. Uh, there's this um, uh, music festival called the 7107 International Music Festival, or people are calling it also 7107 IMF. It's happening at Clark, Philippines, Clark Pampanga. Uh, happening February 23, 22 to 23. Three. Um, they're saying it's also going to be open on 21st. There's going to be a, a fair there, but the musicians, the music will be on the 22nd and 23rd. Now, supposedly this is only the first, the first set of artists lined up right now. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Empire of the Sun, the Asteroids Galaxy Tour, Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, Natives, Up Dharma Down, Radioactive Sago Project, which I love, by the way, Radioactive Sago Project. Um, 
plus many, many more listed just for the first phase. And supposedly there's two more phases of uh, music sets coming in. Rumors, rumors, yeah, don't, don't quote me on this. Rumors are they're talking to Snoop Dogg and Kanye West. If, Con if, if Yeezus comes, I, that will be definitely something. People are saying that the tickets are a bit high, but I think, I think people are still going to go get it because it's really, it's red hot chili. It's like red hot chili. I know friends who flew over. I think they were in Hong Kong. Um, was it Hong Kong or Malaysia? They flew over uh, last year, a couple years ago, and people were still going for that. So actually, they're, uh, the organizer, I think, are also trying to bring in that international um, crowd of people who love music because music is universal. So there you go. Red hot chili peppers. Again, it's at the 7107 Music Festival ha happening February 22 to 23. Anyway, that's um, pretty much some of the big events. It's a quick show today. Well, um, you know, it's our pilot first episode. Woo! It always hurts the first time. At least that's what I hear. Uh, but <laughs> we won't go into that. But um, uh, before we end, one more trending video online. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw this, but uh, let me pull it up here as well. But let's start playing it. But there's a new music video that apparently is dedicated to the most beautiful Filipina transgenders. I kid you not. There is a video out there right now. It's from a band, a new, a new OPM band called 143. Um, and uh, the title of the song is Hayop Saganda. And uh, here, we'll, we'll let you listen to a little bit of it. Uh, but it's on YouTube right now. It's trending. that video again you can check it out it'll be on uh, wheninmanila.com but uh, people are talking about it because i didn't know there were like you know, I, I i dare i call them pretty beautiful i mean but wow i don't know how much i don't know if that's pure plastic surgery i don't know what that is but I, but it's wow I would not be able to tell if I was at a club. I, imagine you uh, having a couple of drinks. Like, wow, these are beautiful people. Let's just leave it at that. But the article is trending right now, however you feel. But, you know, it's all good. Um, check it out and just leave a comment on there. But again, the title of the, uh, the music video is Hayop Saganda. And yeah, Hayop. Again, that, that's all I have to say. Anyway, thank you for keeping me company here on our very first pilot episode of When in Manila, the podcast here at Wusa Studios. Anyway, check us out every week. We will be telling you what are the things people are talking about in Manila and what are the events you need to be at in Manila. We'll also try to bring you some of the coolest guests to talk about some of the coolest things as well. Find us on Twitter at Vince Galanco and at When in Manila. And of course, check out Wusa Studios. Dot com. Anyway, my name is Vince Galango. I'll see you guys next week.